Hut gets outed. Lucifer is back on Earth, and there's some crazy shit going down in a clean room all this week. On top of the stack. Thank you for joining us for this week's Top of the Stack, our weekly comic review where we bring you our top three comics of the week, and we give you our honest reviews. This week, it is Image and DC on the list, so let's get it started with... Huck number two. So, Huck number two by Mark Miller and Raphael Albuquerque. What did you think of this? Well, I think it's an interesting story with how this guy is literally like the nicest person on the planet. And it's yeah. just like this issue basically is just he's been outed, everybody's out at his outside of his house wanting help and he helps all these people we see about uh five different people ask for help and in this issue we saw him help too and, and he's got yeah he's got that list he's making yeah and he's making this list of people he needs to help and you know it's funny because all of his neighbors came in and were like Get we gotta get you out yeah. of here. And he's like, no, I have to help them. And that's what I do. That's what he did in this issue. And I like it for that reason. And I like the art. And I think the story, though, is probably gonna progressively get kind of dark, maybe. I would imagine. Well, the, the, this one we get a little... The very first pages, we see a right. woman who's has powers as well. Oh, I f totally forgot to mention yeah, that. Yeah, she has powers as well, and it she's linked to him because mm -hmm. as he's on the news she looks sad about how he's been found right almost like it might be her son and uh she Got dropped him off right. so he wouldn't have to live this life mm -hmm. where she was captive she had like a ankle bracelet on mm -hmm. that kept her under control of that government kind of thing, yeah. so i mean we are gonna this is gonna expand mm -hmm. which i like i liked her entering like ooh, this is a whole nother element yeah and, and the end, which, the end. you know, yeah. gets even more. Like, does that person have powers, too? Like, it's Maybe. who knows where this is going. Yeah, so, but all in all, i probably give this one a Michael Keaton. Not quite a Christian Bale, but I think it'll get there. Yeah, i definitely give this one a Christian Bale. I thought the beginning and the end, mm -hmm. you know, we kind of had some of the same in the middle, but that beginning and the end, what really brought it up. So. Yeah. So, Huck number two is getting a Michael Keaton and a Christian Bale from Geeked Up. Which brings us to our next comic, which is Clean Room number three by Gail Simone, John Davis Hunt, and Quentin Winter. Um, going back to the story with uh, Mueller. Mm -hmm. uh, Ms. Astrid. Mueller, Astrid Mueller, uh, and her clean room and the weird, crazy shit she does there. I know. Um, in this one, she's got another person captive, an Asian man named mm -hmm. uh, Joe Wee. We. Or Joe Way, yeah. something like that. Mm -hmm. um, he has an issue with touching the ground, and he's that saying, like, it's because stuff. everybody's wrong. Hell is above us, heaven is below us, and when we walk, we're stepping on the screaming faces of angels. Like, this is such a bizarre comic. How, like, how, how do they come up with that? I don't know, but it's amazing. <laughs> and it's like, you get these flash flashes from her clean room to uh the main girl uh chloe pierce mm -hmm. who has now left and on her way home she's at a gas station so you're from the clean room to the gas station to chloe pierce's house where mm -hmm. somebody is breaking in and the neighbors are trying to subdue that person or right or get that person to leave mm -hmm. so it's just going back and forth through there and you know she's having visions in this bathroom, bathroom. and uh she's bringing this uh, Mueller's bringing this Asian man through visions where he's seeing crazy stuff from fishing in a river to mm -hmm. alien abduction and possession. Like, this is going all over the board. She's trying to find something, and there is in this issue something I really liked, which is a line that ties her. She is the girl in the beginning of the whole comic, where she's sitting down with uh, uh -huh. Chloe Pierce and says, well... A man purposely ran her over twice when oh, she was a little girl. Yeah. So this is kind of her motive. Mm -hmm. Why? We don't know. But 
you know, you get some more key elements at the end with, uh, you know, what people did to that guy who ran him over and ties into the ending of this one. I just think the art is awesome. Clean. It's so, <laughs> it's so good. And so it brings the writers, I think it brings a writer's vision to life. Like, right. Yeah. So you got this totally crazy agree. story with artwork to match it and the colors and the lettering, everything in this. I, I love it. What did you think about it? Yeah, I agree. This one this week really uh, brought a whole nother element of things that's going on with Astrid and another like look inside of what she does for these people. And it's just, we also get another view of like, people really do like worship her. Yeah. So it's... Like that Asian guy even says, mm -hmm. can't you just leave me here forever? And I can disappear. Yeah, she he never wants to leave. Yeah. So, yeah, I really like it. I probably give this one a Christian Bale this week. And I'm giving it a Christian Bale as well. So the clean room number three, great story, great art, all around across the board mm -hmm. is getting a Christian Bale from Geeked Up, which brings us to our last review of the week, which is a Vertigo number one by the name of Lucifer. He's back. And he's being written this time by Holly Black, art by Lee Garbett, and colors by Antonio Fabella. Mm -hmm. This one, as we heard from the solicits, it's basically catching us up on what that is. God is dead, and Lucifer is being blamed. Gabriel is trying to track him down to get answers right. and take him down. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's more to it than that. We, we see that from the ending. There's, there's a lot more. Well, we yeah. know that Lucifer is back. Like, so he went away, mm -hmm. left Earth, left the heaven, heavenly realms, went away. Right. He's come back to Earth. When he came back, it shows us at the beginning, all these people are going crazy now. Even animals are acting bizarre because of it. Right. Um, he's building his empire again. You know, he's just doing his thing. And I like his banter. He's got banter with people. <laughs> yeah. Kind of like, yeah. like Constantine, you know? The one thing that, besides the story, that I really liked, again, was the lettering yeah you got yeah it like it you can tell the difference between characters almost with how the lettering works and i really really like that because i feel like in a lot of comics you know it's just kind of the same lettering throughout with you know some other yeah like bold letter bold yeah words things like that right but with this they like took their time with that which they actually I, made I really... like different fonts like scratchy mm -hmm. fonts for demonic things and like, right yeah. So that's one thing that I really wanted to give a shout out to because I definitely noticed it and I liked it. So what about the art though? The art was good. Yeah. This is, um, Lucifer looks like. Suave. Yeah, exactly. Confident mm -hmm. man. Exactly how devil. you would expect Lucifer. In white instead of black, mm -hmm. which I like. Yeah, yeah. I always like that. Um, so God's dead. Gabriel finds out mm -hmm. he's on a mission. They meet up, shit goes down, and he's saying, you know, I'm going to help you out. I didn't do it, but I'm going to help you out. And he says, why? And he goes, because I want to find out who did it, because I wanted to kill God. And so, he's my dad, too. Yeah. <laughs> Which so, I was like, oh, mic drop. It's pretty cool. I mean, I like the concept. I want to see where it goes. The mm -hmm. ending shows, you know, what hell, the situation with hell right now. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of, you know, we're going to see if they fight back, because they seem a little scared. Yeah. Hell seems do. worried that mm -hmm. he's back. So it, I think it's going to be interesting. I think it's going to be a fun ride. I know. I'm pretty excited for this. And the TV show is already... Yeah, it's coming out, it, I think it's February? Yeah. February or January, Sometime something like soon, that. yeah. So I'm interested to see how the two are going to convey. One thing I like other. at the beginning of this, there's a quote, and I'm going to read it. It's by Samuel... Uh, Butler, and it mm -hmm. says, an apology for the devil. It must be remembered that we have heard only one side of the case. God has written all the books. So, is the devil really bad? You know? I feel like you're asking a real question. Is the devil really <laughs> bad? Did the devil make me do it? Hopefully we find out here in this comic. Yep. What are you giving Lucifer number one? I'm gonna give it a Christian Bale. Me too. Loose for number one, great ride from Just Like Clean Room. It's been a good week. I mean, it's actually been such a good week. We're going to get into some honorable mentions soon. But Loose for number one by Holly Black, Lee Garbett, and Antonio Fabella is getting a Christian Bale from Geeked Up. Which leads us to those honorable mentions, and we have two this week. 
Um, it was a good week. These ones, it was. if some of these weren't there, they would have definitely made mm -hmm. it on top of the stack, in my opinion. First one being Superman American Alien number two by Max Landis. Complete shift in tone. Yeah, totally took a turn. And I think that works really well with the artist being changed each mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Because the last one, really colorful, bright, vibrant, kid, almost kid tale. Yeah. Super dark this time. Really, <laughs> really crazy. Yeah, it was good. Yeah, it was really good. So it is on the honorable mentions as well as Beauty Number no. 5 by Jeremy Hahn and Jason A. Hurley. Because... Um, we got some answers there. The story has picked up really and picked up. we are learning some stuff about the beauty and everything that goes along with it. So yeah. definitely pick that one up if you are reading it. All of them. So that is basically five good reviews there. Yes. Um, three of which we only handled on top of the stack, but make sure you look into each and every one of those. But until next me. time, make sure you give us those thumbs up and subscribe. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Vine. Uh, get there and uh, get the conversation going. We'll get back to each and every one of you. Let us know what you thought about these reviews in the comments below. But until next time, stay geeked up. And always hug a xenomorph. Always.